It's the graffiti which links the Guildhall to its dark past, found in cells that held criminals before their trials right up to the 1980s. But now prisoners have been involved in giving the former court a refurb as part of a rehabilitation project that hopes to teach them new skills. Work was carried out by the team over six months, and now one of Norwich's most historic sites is home to the freshly furnished Britannia Bistro. Norwich is one of the most heritage-rich cities in Europe, never mind Britain, so um, we were thrilled at the opportunity to, to give something back to the community. We redecorated, we restored, we've maintained as much of the fabric of the building as we've been able to get back to from what had been done previously, so that people can experience the heritage of this building when they come here. The Bistro now joins Britannia Cafe, based here at Norwich Prison, as the next stage of a scheme to prevent reoffending. Nationally, that's a big problem, with around 46% of inmates falling back into criminal activity once they're released. But with those involved in the Britannia projects, the figure sits at under 5% since they began back in January 2014. Norfolk is a very nice county, but do you want it to turn into more of an urban jungle because you've got high levels of uh, reoffending? Of course you don't. So projects like this are about that, and I would welcome anybody who's perhaps of the view that these opportunities shouldn't be available to come and see what we do and to just genuinely try and engage with us because we are, we are proud of what we do and it, it really does make a difference. The bistro refurb took two weeks, while cleaning the old courtroom and the civic chamber, including refurbishing the floorboards, took much longer. Meanwhile, the heart room received a new lick of paint and new furniture. Also planned at the Guildhall is a new shop based here and due to open in the autumn that will sell items linked to Norwich's heritage as a base for mustard production. It will be staffed by offenders who will learn retail skills such as checking stock and meeting suppliers that will give their CVs and their employment opportunities a big boost. That means they'll be adapting to life outside prison, lowering the chances of reoffending, saving millions of pounds for the taxpayer and changing lives. Mark Summers, Mustard TV, Norwich.